when you think about that transportation system in Wisconsin, you know, we think of the east and west coast with the oceans and that, but the water we have here with the Great Lakes and the Mississippi River, we have 29 commercial ports in Wisconsin that move a lot of bulk materials and commerce in the state. We have 81 public use transit systems that get people to and from work. We have over 125 commercial and public use airports that facilitate movement and businesses and things like that. We have 10 railroads, including four class one railroads in Wisconsin, and we have over 115,000 miles of state, interstate, and local roads that connect us all together. So when you put all of that together, you know, that transportation network really drives the economy in Wisconsin. Sure, and when you talk about Wisconsin's economy, a lot of people might not think of it as being a global economy, but what you just mentioned, that reaches worldwide all our goods and commodities that we produce. There's no doubt whether it's agriculture, our soybeans, our milk, there's manufactured products that we're doing here that are going to every part of the world. And when we can get a competitive advantage on the transportation costs, that's huge. You know, in addition to that U.S. News & World Report, we had an audit here done in the Midwest, and our state highways, forget our local roads and our interstates, but the condition of our state highways, Ohio is at 75% in good condition, Indiana at 75% in good condition, Michigan was over 70% in good condition. We were the last in the Midwest, but it wasn't just by that we were the last, it was by how much. Iowa was, was the next worst at 52. We were down at 32% of our state highways in good Whoa. condition. I mean, when you compare that, you know, that's striking. So why is that? Well, as you said, they've been stepping up to the plate. Indiana increased their gas tax by a dime recently. Iowa increased their gas tax by a dime recently. Michigan increased their gas tax by eight cents recently. These were states that were already ahead of us in the condition of the roads, and they've been investing. So we're spending per person much less than our neighbors are spending to put into their transportation system, and it's showing.